Catalina is one of the most basic and beginner-friendly characters in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. With amazing neutral buttons, great specials to space yourself around your opponent's threat range, and amazing damage off of her regular combos, she's already looking like one of the best characters to pick up in this game. Today, I want to show you all the tips and tricks that I know on how to succeed on Catalina. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So let's first go over all of her normals, and before I go over them, I would just like to explain something for people that are completely new to Grand Blue Versus and who have never played the game. There are two different types of attacks on the same button. One of them are the far versions of each button, and one of them are the close versions. Close versions have different properties in the far versions of them. So for example, this would be a far light, whereas this would be a close light. So same as this, this is a far medium, and this is a close medium, right? This is a far heavy, and this is a close heavy. The only exception being the unique buttons. The unique buttons are the same for everything, on pretty much every character as far as I am concerned. So if you hit, for example, your crouching unique or your regular unique, it's always the same. It doesn't matter like how close I am to Vera right here, nothing really happens, right? So whenever I talk about, for example, close light, now you know what it is, so let's go over them. Her light right here, her far light is I think honestly a pretty good button just when you're like at a close range right here, uh, but you are not close enough to hit this, right? So what you can do is you can actually confirm this into either your quarter circle back or your quarter circle forward. So your fireball or your frost, those are the two versions that you can combo this into. Which is really good for Catalina because Catalina's game plan pretty much revolves around getting people to the corner so she can do her maximum amount of damage. She doesn't really do much damage mid-screen but she's very very disgusting to fight against when she is in the corner. So it's just a good button to use whenever you like it's even for example let's say you're here and you're just trying to get something to confirm. You can do that right there. You can also do it with this, right? Whatever. So this button is just really good as a, as a regular poke uh, with punish tool. Very, very strong. Her second button is her crouching light. And this is the exact same version as if it were if you're close up. This button by itself has abysmal range, but it has very good properties. For one, it is plus on block, which means if you were to press something on your opponent afterwards, so for example, let's say you would do two of them, and you delay the second one, you would actually win the interaction, and you'd be able to get a full combo like this, for example, right? You would just get all that. This move by itself is my main button to get either out of the corner or to pressure somebody. I think it's really good. And what I like to do as a combo with this, I like to do a crouching light into a standing one. So you can do a full combo, right? Like this, for example. If you were to do the opposite of just doing down down, you will get the far version and you cannot get an auto combo. So if you're close to somebody, you can get an auto combo here fully. But if you're far, you see like even if I mash, there's nothing that's going to come out, right? So you need to make sure that you do this as your frame trap. So the frame trap should be a standing light, not a crouching. Unless you want to have a specific combo that works with far light which I have not discovered to be useful at all yet, but maybe there is going to be something in the future, right? Then you can start using this. But yeah, that's it for pretty much the light buttons by itself. And then we also have her light jump attack, which is a lasting attack. So no matter how long this is out, it will permanently be active until you land on the ground. So for example, as you can see, no matter what, it will come out and it will hit the opponent. So that's just the important part. Honestly, this is just really good if you want to just have a simple poke. That's it, like from the air. It's just really fast. So if you were to like try to attack somebody who's trying to anti-air you before they can press their button, it's good to use it and to get out of it. But yeah, that's basically it for the light buttons. Okay, let's go over medium. This is her god button. This is by far one of her best buttons next to her heavy. And the biggest reason why is just because it's an insane whiff punish tool. It can be used for pretty much anything. You can catch people with it just running at you or walking at you. And you have an immediate confirm into your light thrust right away. The crouching version is just as good, if not even better, because it catches people who are trying to like spot dodge at you, like block dodge like this, right? So this actually catches this and you can just do really well there. Also, it, it's really good because over some high buttons, you can go over and actually with punish them like so. It's a lot easier to hit that, right? So those are like... My favorite buttons to use whenever I'm in neutral, I love using this, the, the crouching, crouching medium is really really good, and the standing, standing medium or far medium, also really good, I'm such a fan of these buttons, just because they establish such a dominant neutral game, right, because whenever you sit here, you don't even need to commit to the thrust right here, you can just commit to a fireball afterwards, so you can literally buffer this, right, so it's like, I'll do the move and then the fireball, so if he walks towards me, I can just do a fireball right here and I'm good to go, right? And it will combo as you can see. It, won't, it will not combo at max range when it looks like it's a fireball, but the frost always combos no matter what. When it comes to the close button, this usually is just used as her main combo tool if anything. So if you 
hit a combo right here, like so, one, two, three, right? Then afterwards you would do medium, medium. That's like basically like the, the main way you want to approach it. I also like using medium for throws, so if I were to use the close medium and they were to block, I can use it to throw right after pretty much, right? So I can do this and then throw right away. I don't even need to move forward. I just need to do like a little micro step, if anything. So you see, like I'm walking forward a tiny bit and then I already have it. Like it it's literally a micro step. You can get it for free. So you can just have pressure going on like this. And something unique about this game, which wasn't in the last Grand Blue, is you now have options to high or low your opponent during a close slash or whatever like block string. So you were able to do this, right, where I'm like just holding forward and pressing medium, medium, medium. I will get a low, and if I were to press heavy, I will get a high. So this is also really good to just set up pressure. Just be like, okay, I'm gonna do my close, my close medium into everything and then I'm gonna press the high or I'm gonna press the low in order to mix my opponent up, right? So instead of just doing the regular string here, which is actually safe, you can do that in order to risk something and just get damage. This is really good usually at like low health, like if they only have like 10% health left or 5% health, they're really gonna struggle and they're gonna like try to do like anything to survive. So it's, it's definitely one of the things that you want to like keep track of. Then when it comes to a medium here, this is just a good air-to-air. -air. Uh, this is nothing special in my opinion, but whenever you see your opponent jumping at you a bunch, you can just use this. I personally prefer the heavy version though, but this is also like something that is available. Not really as good as opponents who are on the ground compared to like, let's say this, right? But it does the job. It's still a good button regardless, but yeah. Let's go over heavy. This button is probably with punishing 101. It's my... It's like my go-to button whenever I want to whip punish somebody from afar. As you can see, it has incredible range. Like, it, it hits from fucking Narnia, right? So, you can you can do whatever you want with this. You can just hit stop, fireball, whatever. And I think the best usage for this, honestly, is even in the corner. Because if they try to jump, this actually will catch it on the first couple of frames. And also, as you can see, like, if they press anything, you're perfectly positioned out of the range. So you can whip punish it, do whatever. You also have immediate access to your combos that you can get from here. So I think I, I really like this button. And the crouching version of it is just basically your go-to anti-air that you want to use. So let's have Vera actually jump at us real quick. As you can see, this is like the go-to anti-air button. And what you can actually do here is you can combo it into your DP as a regular version. So as you can see right here, boom. It will hit. If you hit it a bit later, you're actually able to hit both hits depending on your reaction time. So you're actually getting rewarded if your reaction time is a bit worse, if that makes sense. Right, so if you react late, you're gonna get the full version here. And on counter hit, actually, this is pretty disgusting because on counter hit, you can even get a super right here. So you can do this into your unique cancel and then dash forward and you can do one hit into your super. That's the thing I've been using the most anti-air opponents. I think it's really, really good. As you can see, 5.5k damage for an anti-air. Really strong. Really strong, right? So I really like this button. Uh, it's not really used in anything as in, like, pressure. Like, it can't really be used. You, you can special cancel into something. But I just... I don't know. I feel like this is just purely an anti-air option. That's basically what it's for. And as I said again, I think this is, like, the go-to air to air option. The H version here. Also, really good range. Combos into your auto combo, whatever you really want. Oh, it's pretty strong by itself. So I really like these buttons. The heavy buttons are really good overall. And they all have their intent uses. This is for whiff punishing, this is for anti-airing, this is for air to airing. Or just getting, like, a string from afar, right? If you want to jump at somebody. Okay, let's go over her uniques. And her uniques already, like, showed you a little bit. You can actually dash cancel this. So this is an armor shield. Which means if my opponent were to attack me, I could counter them back for it. So if I were to, for example, do pressure right here, and I would have Hero try to attack me afterwards, I can just punish her for it, right? So let me show you an example of that. As you can see, I can punish it right away. And another thing I can do is I can charge it. So you can mix up your opponent by just either charging it or dashing towards or dashing away from them. So it's going to be a mix-up by itself, which enables you to get a throw. Or it enables you to just retreat, uh, especially in like neutral, this might work pretty well. But yeah, I've not found too much use for this besides just to cancel as an anti-air. But yeah, I like using it like that. I think, it, I think it can be used in some other ways, like just as an actual punish. But there are honestly better options out there, so it's not really that great. But the really good thing that she has is her sweep. I think her sweep is one of the best in the game. It reaches really far, and it's pretty safe, as you can see from like a far distance. It's really hard to punish it. And also, another thing that's really good about 
per sweep is it allows you to get a safe trip setup. If you don't know what a safe trip setup is, it's essentially being able to cover multiple options at the same time while jumping at your opponent and being in safe and pressure. So right here, I'll be able to jump and then I can press pretty much any button I want. I will usually just opt to using the unique again, right? And then if I'm correct, I will get an absolute massive combo here. Just get my like little full combo that I can do. This is this isn't this is probably not even optimal. There's probably more damage you can do. As you can see, like for this setup, you can do mass amounts of damage, which is why I'm saying she's really strong in the corner because you can get a full combo here. As as to here, all you get really is like this, and then if you get a wall bounce, you get lucky. You can do it, but yeah. This can be used as a safe jump setup, you can then mix up your opponent, do a throw, or whatever. But I will just show you what the safe jump setup does by itself, if you've never seen it before. So if we're gonna have her block all, and then what I'll do is I'll jump at her and she's just gonna super, right? And what you're gonna see is that she is not gonna be able to do it. So while I press the button here, as you can see, I am landing at the same time simultaneously, and I'm holding back. So I can actually punish her afterwards fully right and you can do this with anything you can do this with dps with mashing with whatever right so if the, if she were just to mash for example you would just get a full combo like straight up you would just literally be able to get a full combo so i think it's really good so whenever you hit this just set yourself up to jump right away and then as you can see there you go you're able to block it you're able to punish do whatever you want afterwards you can get a full combo right like whatever whatever you feel like you want to do you're able to do it because of it so i really really like this and then yeah and then you can do whatever you want as i said so her unique is exactly the same as the low version just here you can just use this uh i also think this is a good cross up by itself as you can see it crosses up pretty easily it's also pretty hard to tell if you're gonna cross up or not you can see right here, like, it's, it's not it's not an easy tell, honestly. And you can also completely full combo from this. So you can do this, and like, DP or whatever, and you're good to go from there. Okay, it's all over normals. Now let's go over her special move, which are basically Shodo, right? So like, Ryu, or, that, or, that, or like, Ken, like, they're pretty simple. So she has a very basic fireball, and she's three different versions of them. Light version, medium, and heavy. Um, every single version of them is just gonna be faster by the higher grade, so the L version is the slowest, but medium is the, is faster, and then H is faster and has multiple hits, and then the unique version, boom, right, has like a full knockdown, so you can actually combo off of this even if you want to, right, and then get all of that, so that's actually pretty good, and I just really like to use this for space control, so whenever, again, I'm hitting a button here, I'll try to hit a fireball, it's kind of the goal, did that, I'll hit the heavy version even, it de depending on like where I am on the screen obviously. And here I think it's also really good, you can just use the fireballs and you can create like space again for yourself. It's basically just a reset for them and you get into like a favorable position. Or you just try to like win a fireball war, it's really good for that. And whenever you think your opponent's just gonna keep mashing fireballs, you can use this version and just completely fuck with them. So you can do it one, two, Right, and you can even do it the third time because you're re regenerating it if you're hitting them over and over. So because there's combos, you can even hit three of those. That right, I, I just really like using this one. I'm a big fan of the fireball overall. Uh, let's go over the other one which I talked about, which is the thrust, which is quarter circle backwards. Uh, this also has three different versions and a unique version. The light version is basically just your simple confirm that you want to use most of the time. Medium is a bit slower, but has further reach. So if you were for example, just like space at your opponent here and you want to get in, so it's like a, a neutral skip option, you can do it. As you can see, you're positioning yourself really well to hit anything that they press right here, right? So if they press any button, they're gonna get fucked for it. And you can just be really safe, they cannot really punish it. So this is just a, a very good get in option if they don't press anything and you expect them to not to. Uh, the heavy version is actually a very unique to the other ones because it can be charged. So what you can do here is you can do the regular version of it, right? And it usually will be able to be used as a wall bounce. So just like here is like a combo, right? One, two, three, four. Boom, it will wall bounce as compared to the other versions. It doesn't do that, just gives you a soft reset. But the really interesting thing about it is this. I'm able to charge it. I'm able to charge it for a very long time. And there's no way for me to stop this but I can guard crush with it afterwards. So if I'm here, I can go for like a setup afterwards or I can just hit the opponent straight up. And when I do hit them straight up for it, then 
I get my wall bounce, I get my full combo, I can do what I want. So this is really good. The last version cannot really be charged, maybe even a, like at best a little bit, if anything. But there is armor on it. It is protected by armor, so if your opponent were to try to press anything, you will be able to go for it just like with this, right? So it's just an extended setup, where like, you can see the shield right here and then the hit itself. Also wall bounces pretty much gives you a full combo as well. That's basically those two, and now we get over the last one, which is just her DP. You have three different versions, again, the medium one is invincible, and the H one is invincible, and then obviously the heavy version is too, just the light one is. So the light one can be used as an anti-air if you think your opponent's gonna use something. I still would prefer just using like the crouching heavy, but it is an option, I use this from time to time. Or air throw by itself, it's just a simple DP, nothing much. The thing that's really good about, about her DP though is the last one, which is the unique, because the unique literally wall bounces on, on impact, right? So you can do one, two, three, impact combo, and then you can get a cross up right here, right? Stuff like that. So you can actually get a setup from it if you want to. And it's also good to just finish off your opponent with some extra damage that you wouldn't have otherwise. So for example, if I would have just, you know, do this, it's 1650. But if I wanted to kill my opponent, I would use this one every time. If there's like extra damage that needs to be added, right? Like if I know I can kill, then I would just go for that. It's a really good option as compared to using a super for 100 meters. So if I only have like 50, I can just use this in order to kill. These are basically their special moves, that's all there's to it. And she has, just like every character, just two supers. Number one is just this one. It's a three hit, also invincible super. You've already seen this one. I usually just like to use it as a combo ender whenever I have over 30% health. All right, and then she has the low percent version, which is this one. There you go, right? Now we went over all of her moves. Let's go over a little bit of the exact game plan that I'm trying to have with her. And then also just show you some combos that you can do with her. Just anything basic and then you can start actually playing rank with her and have success with her. So my goal with Catalina is I will try to poke my opponent or whiff punish them or keep them away with fireballs. The only mission is to essentially get your opponent to the corner without using any of her heavy moves. So you don't want to just use this transport him to, the, to transport somebody to the corner because your cooldown is going to be forever, right? So you just want to get like your basic hits in, get a fireball or whatever, maybe even get a throw, right? And then you're in the corner and you can actually start playing your game. That is the main appeal because again, she doesn't really have any combos here outside of like a DP that you can do. You can do like boom, boom, boom. You can do DP. You can do this into frost, right? But like ultimately she doesn't really have much. In the corner is where it actually starts to matter because she has a lot of pressure here and you can do whatever you want. So one of the most basic things you can do as her is just strike throw pressure. So you can dash at your opponent and press your crouching light and then you can do one of two things. Either you frame trap right here so if they would mash you could get your full combo here or you can just go for a throw right away, right? And I also love using this with the medium like you do the exact same way because you're just extremely close to your opponent. You just have to walk forward a little bit and then able to go from there so the basic pressure is either you strike or you throw here and if you do manage to get a strike then what you can do is just literally enable your full combo right so i can do all of this boom 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 and then i can do my super finish them off get all that damage have two cubes gone right that's essentially it right and the combo i'm doing here is just a simple auto combo into just using the heavy version. So I'm doing auto combo medium, all of medium, then I'm gonna do my thrust, right? In order to get the wall bounce. Then I do one, two. So I do one, two from my medium again. One, two. Right, so like this. One, two, then I'm gonna get the fireball and then do a heavy, heavy, and then I can do super. Right? And if you do not have the meter, you can just end this with a DP. This is the basic combo that you can do with Catalina that's really effective. And it just works, right? You can just use that over and over again. Because by the time that you are recovered from this, you still have the DP. So if you were to hit your opponent again with anything, you can always just end it in DP and have your other gauges recover. And I just try to like basically keep away from my opponent at all times. I can either rush on them or I can keep them away and try to play space control. So I will press my button here, get in position. If they were to try to press the button, I would whip punish it. So I'll show you an example of that. Let's say I crouch and I press the button and they press like crouching, fly back. Right, so like this. You see? 
I'm like just outside of the range because of it, because I'm positioning myself, and then I can whip punish like this, and I can do the combo that I was talking about earlier, right? I can get the full conversion essentially. That's basically what you're supposed to do. You're either supposed to rush them down like this, so as you can see, one, one, two, boom, 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 like all of that. Get my knockdown, I can re rotate again, I can do it again, or I can do this, right? And then I can keep you away, or I can even do my armor if I really feel like it, punish you for it. And then we'll see what you can do from that point forward, right? So you can basically just extend pressure, just keep them there, and then eventually force them to jump out. And that's when you're gonna use your best anti-air, right? Get a full conversion from this again. So she can just do a lot of damage by being very simple and effective, right? So if I get a hit here, I can basically convert into whatever I want. This is a guaranteed 5k. I can go for it again right here, and I can just rotate it over and over, right? Because I can just take my time, and then press button slow here, so I have enough time for my thrusts to recover. And then I can press everything here again, go for the full rotation again, over and over and over. You just have to be very careful with it and give yourself actual time. I think she's really good from my like first impressions of the game. I haven't played the old Grand Blue, but she seems very, very strong. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if there's anything else you want to know. I might be releasing another guide for her in like, let's say like a week or two from now when the game actually had some time. And maybe I'll even release a matchup chart. We'll see how things go, right? Also, also, two things. Right now, as you're watching this video, I'm streaming on Twitch, so you're gonna see my rank climb for Catalina. And if you want any direct help, I also offer coaching for the game. So if there's anything you want, link in the, in the description below. Links to the Twitch stream, links to the Medify, so you can get coaching. Anyways, you have a good one. Thank you so much. Bye.